Dr. Bell is to say what he wanted to see me about? No, just that it was important. Hey, Bellows? He isn't here. Then he left a note. Hey, a clinical report on Major Anthony Nelson. Hey, Roger, it's about me. Maybe that's what he wanted to see you about. A factual dossier on every unexplained incident in which Major Nelson has been involved for the last three years. This is dynamite. Oh, boy, if this thing is submitted, I'm finished, and we gotta get rid of it. Yeah, we'll burn it. We'll burn the office. Jeannie! You called, Master. Oh, yeah, you see these papers? Yes. Get rid of them. Thanks, Oh, uh, oh just leave those papers in my hand. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, uh, Major Healy. So where's Major Nelson? Major Nelson? <laughs> oh, he, uh, he had, he had to go to the phone. I want to discuss this report with him. Now, Master? No, not now. You can't while Dr. Bellows is there. Oh, you forget how clever I am. What's going on? There is a bit of a breeze. I'll, uh, I'll close the window. Major, the window is closed. <laughs> oh, well, then, uh, I'll open it. The reports have been blown all over the base. Don't worry about it. With Major Nelson involved, I thought something like this might happen, so I took the precaution of making up a few more copies. Nice work, Jenny. Thank you, Master. I just dropped one off with General Peterson. Carry on, Major. <laughs> I take it you're aware of the contents of this report, Tony. Now, what do you make of it? I, I don't think it's fair to condemn a man before a fair hearing. No one is condemning anybody, Tony. It's perfectly understandable, after all the pressure we've been under. Sir, I respectfully submit that Dr. Bellis is not always I the one... I know. Who... I, I must feel about him after working with him all these years. There's no doubt in my mind, Bellis is cracked up. <laughs> Sir, I'm entitled to a formal hearing. <laughs> Dr. Bellis is cracked up? <laughs> of course. Whom did you think I met? Yeah, you, you mean you don't believe this report, sir? Tony, any man who writes a report like this has got to be a candidate for a padded cell. And look right here where it says animal. Appearing and disappearing. Bevel swears that on three separate occasions he saw an elephant, a giraffe, and a grizzly bear in your living room. Yeah. <laughs> grizzly bear. Well, we simply cannot afford to have our astronauts under the care of a man who sees grizzly bears. No, no, sir. And now, Bellows is no longer your doctor. Yeah. What? Oh, Master, what happened? Dr. Bellows is losing his job because of me. Well, can he not get another job? No, I sure, the world is getting crazier every minute. I mean, psychiatrists are in demand. Gee, I got an idea. Why don't you blink Dr. Bellows on a nice, beautiful office in Beverly Hills with a lot of rich patients? I'll do it right away. Yeah, you can throw in uh, the Nobel Prize in medicine. Nobel Prize in Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, Jimmy. Just let me handle Hello. this. Hello. I don't want you to blink anybody anywhere. Hello? Oh, yeah, yes, Dr. Corbett. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm on my way now. Who is Dr. Corbett? He's the new psychiatrist that's taking Dr. Bellows' job. Oh. 